Hi guys, welcome to another episode of The Clueless Drinker. It's one of those videos where this is like take five because I just can't get the right words out. And the beer's already poured, thankfully I've not tasted it yet. And uh, yeah, so I'm just going to jump straight into this one. Today's beer is from a brewery called Meisel and Friends, and this is the Pale Ale coming in at 5.2% ABV and with an IBU count of 32. I picked this up at a supermarket, um, which I've not been to before, and I saw that they had this. And it's one that I've actually seen, I think Beretta once stocked this one. They could well do so now, I'm not sure. And I think I've seen it on uh, beardelux.de as well. But um, yeah, I've never actually seen it properly, and especially in a supermarket. You don't really get to see too many of the craft sort of beers. And when they are, they're usually just the pale ale side of things. Um, but that's not a bad thing. It's giving consumers a bit more of an option. Who knows, in a couple of years' time, they might have their own little sh sections and stuff like that. But anyway, the Meisland Friends I, uh, Pale Ale, it's got Hercules, uh, Chinook, Amarillo, Simcoe, and Citra Hops. Now that's quite a cocktail. Um, but yeah, it sounds good from what I've smelled so far. It smells good. So uh, here's what the beer pours like. Uh, it's maintained the head really solidly. Uh, one finger slightly, well actually you know it's a white head. Uh, but slightly dark around the edges and uh, yeah colour is it's like a nice amber colour ever so slightly cloudy but you've got a hell of a lot of carbonation in there um, very active not too sure if this beer is bottle conditioned I've still got some left in the bottle so I will put that in once I've smelt it and give it its initial taste and we'll see how it goes so anyway let's get on with it so in terms of sniffs you're getting those citrus flavor uh, scents straight away you've got the grapefruits in there you've got like lemon zest you've also got sort of like a candied sugar sort of vibe almost very slightly sherbetty but you get like really nice multi caramel tones as well and uh yeah it's definitely a hoppy beer on the sniff that is really evident and um yeah, it's actually really nice and balanced. I'll just quickly see what it's like in the bottle. You're really not getting too much. You're getting almost like candy floss smell out of the bottle. Um, but yeah, anyway, so it smells nice. It looks nice. Let's hope it tastes nice. Cheers. You hit straight away with the bitterness and I'm no expert when it comes to the IBUs level IBU levels I should say but that feels a lot more bitter than a 32 IBU it's almost getting like um, IPA vibes with this one um, in terms of the flavors it's like more of a sour fruitiness um, not like sour in a negative way but almost like, a, like I was saying before, when you get like sour sweets, it's got that sort of flavour, but you can actually taste the fruits and it's not synthetic additives. So let's have another taste. Apart from that, there's really nothing else going on. Now, some may say that as a detriment to the beer. And from the sniff, I was expecting it to be slightly more vibrant than it is. But it's not too bad. It is a lot more on the bitter side. It's not very sweet at all. It's very bitter sweet, actually. It is almost a very confusing beer, but it's nice. It, I'm just not liking the bitterness that's left at the end. But anyway, uh, let's see what it looks like with the rest of the beer poured in. I'm just going to pour it straight in like that. Let's get all that goodness in there. Uh, it's just made it very slightly more cloudy um i don't think it is bottle conditioned because i'm not seeing too much or any gunk at all in there um it's almost made it slightly more yellow yeah it's definitely sour it's got like um like a lemon juice sort of flavor in there that's almost the predominant flavor um 
maybe all the hops in there are confusing themselves and they're fighting for your attention because although it is quite sour it's not actually that flavoursome um, so maybe the beer just needs to be refined or tweaked but it's not a bad beer it's just not the best pale ale that I've ever tried um, so I'm going to give this in terms of ratings um, I'm going to give it a 6.5 out of 10 um, it could be just a lot better for my taste it's a high quality beer don't get me wrong really nice mouthfeel though Yeah, it almost has like a slightly fizzy juice feel to it. But um, yeah, it's not bad. But if you see it in your local beer shops, your import shops, or if you see it online, um, maybe think of picking up something else. Um, but then again, it could just be this bowl. But yeah, 6.5 out of 10 is what I'm going to give this one. Um, ever, ever so slightly disappointed. But then again, I get overly excited when I see stuff like this in the wild here in Germany. But yeah, that's really all I could say about that one. So I hope people don't misconstrue this as like a purely negative review, but there's better options even within Germany. But it's a brewery that I'm definitely interested in trying some of their other beers. But anyway, I've waffled on long enough. Thank you guys for watching this review. If you've tried this beer, uh, then let me know your thoughts and opinions. Am I completely wrong? Um, also, check out the brewery down below as well. Um, I always love to promote the breweries that I review. And of course, if you want to see some of my other beer reviews, then check out the Clueless Drinker playlist down below. Thank you guys for watching, and until the next time, cheers.